I mean, on the back of um, of first band on the moon doing so well for you, um, you know, did did you anticipate having the kind of success that you had with that album? Uh, I don't think we were ready for it. Then. Uh, uh, you know, the, the love for the past and became a huge hit, mm. but uh, we were not ready for it then. Mm. That love. And with other than we were touring, we over toured ourselves. So, uh, so I think we we know what we're doing, or at least we think that we know what we do <laughs> this time. Yes. You know, uh, you think you know better, but, well, that's what we think. Mm, mm. Well, I, I, I think you certainly are on the right track, because, I mean, af after that, did, did the band uh, take some time to uh, perhaps look at, at, at what happened with Loveful and, and perhaps approach it uh, slightly differently? Yeah, definitely. We, I think... Uh, we we gained some uh, confidence I think, with the success, mm. and uh, and we felt that success wasn't everything, you know. Mm. So it all came down to that we wanted to do exactly what we wanted. Mm. You know? So uh, so yeah, I think it, it helped us a lot. Mm. And, uh, so it was very tough during the, the hectic time, but mm. I think we came through the fire. Mm, mm, so. mm. Because I think I think your fans perceive, you know, that um, everything you do is very sexy and, you know, they want to be a part of it, but I'm sure you wouldn't want to relive uh, some of those times. No, definitely not. Mm. I think I'm just looking forward to have a bad trip. Yes. Yes. Now, uh, to the point that um, when you um, released the first single, My Favourite Game, and obviously shot that video uh, with uh, Jonas Auckland, um, you, you have become sort of darlings of uh, MTV. Um, obviously, there was a bit of controversy about the single and the video and all of that, but um, very much uh, Cardigans have become a, an MTV favourite. Yeah, uh, you know, that's, that's the paradox as well. That, you know, it was heavily sounded in some places, but yes. not so sounded. I don't know how it is in South Africa, but... We, we have MTV, so um, we have the European feed, so what the Americans saw, we saw. Okay, you have the European feed. Yes, okay. yes. Oh, okay, mm. yeah. Well, yeah, we, uh, you know, MTV is such a huge impact, but... Yeah, we we were kind of uh, uh, stressed when they said that uh, they're going to censor it because mm. we think it's a masterpiece that ought to be shown mm. uncut. Mm. Because you know, if you take parts out, it's uh, you know. Mm. I think there are other videos and other movies and other things that censor. True. Not that one. I yeah. think it's kind of a cartoon thing, you know. It's, mm. I think mm, 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 mm. But then again, um, as I say, I think music uh, videos always tend to suffer more than if it was part of a movie, it would have been fine, you know, but because it's a... It's yeah, because that is art. Uh, music videos is not there yet. Yes, yes. Because, I mean, especially even for um, The Raisin Rewind, um, I think that, uh, that video as well, um, a fantastic follow and as much as it's a, it is an absolutely amazing song, uh, the video to which also, um, as I say, um, stands out as not being just another music video. Yeah, yeah, we, we're trying to fit uh, it fit to the music, um, and, but it's, it's hard now when we are in the middle of the, of the, of the uh, hurricane, you know, it's, uh, to make a good video because we are, we only have to rely on the on, on the director uh, who's making it. So there should, you know, the director should have all the credits. Mm -hmm. they, they've been great, both of them. Mm -hmm. Now, as a band, um, as I said, it being your fourth album, um, would you say that this is 
your your strongest album to date, and if so, what makes it that? I think you know it's a cliche saying the latest one is the best, mm. but I think it this one is the closest to what we think the Cardian is all about. Okay, I think so. Yeah, because did you you know did you um, I mean because I mean it's it's amazing how well. Uh, I mean, I think even on, you know, with Love Fool and, and the last album, I mean, the first two albums internationally were, you know, weren't any kind of a success uh, to the point, you know, by comparison to that of First Band on the Moon and especially Gran Turismo. But did you try and sort of tweak your sound um, towards what, say, Europe and America was sort of looking for? Uh, you know, we, we recorded three albums. first heard the album I thought I'm going to hear a very um, a straight sort of up and down pop record which this album isn't because it's uh, as much as it it's infectious and, and, and you get the songs you know first first time you hear them um, there's there's a certain level of longevity about the songs that they're not songs that you're going to hear ten times and then tire you know like one would with a typical pop tune uh, this, th there is certainly a lot more depth to these songs. Yeah, it is. I think so too. Mm -hmm. And um, and now for for the band, obviously, I think there's a a lot of expectation on you. Obviously, I think you've probably got more requests to do more things than you've ever had before. Um, is is it is it a good place to be? Are you are you happy? Uh, well. I'm, ha I'm happy about the success, but at the same time, I have to sacrifice certain things for the success. Sure. Uh, and in the end, I mean, you're always looking up uh, to bigger, you know, bigger places, bigger things to do, more money, you know. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, you know, it's, you have to have some time off, mm -hmm. get down, and and uh, and and start all over again mm -hmm, mm -hmm, to go back from where you started. So, uh, so I think it's so yes and no, but you know I, I can't complain. You know, <laughs> <laughs> when you have success, you can't complain because no one really understands. You think you're spoiled or something? Right? Yeah, no, no. But well, I guess we all get spoiled, you know, uh, because of the success. So. Sure. Uh, but it's justified based on the hard work that you you've put in to get to this point that you are now. Yeah, you know, it's friends and family, mm. or friends. Mm. You know, you're leaving everything when you're on tour. Sure, sure, sure. Well, Lars, thanks very, very much for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure. Again, congratulations. I think uh, absolutely fantastic. I think the only thing now is. Uh, for you to come and venture into new territories, and one of those should be South Africa. Yeah, I, the whole band wants to go there, but you know, it's a good time. Yeah, yeah. So that's we should point. divide our five, five of us, because we can do five continents. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, great, but thank you very much, and congratulations again. 
Carl, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Oh, yeah. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.